Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new spanking episode of a typical episode 44 with the boys. Yeah. Episode 44 with four man. Cheese. Four, 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 four. <laughs> that us, yeah. How's everything going? How's life? A little V Day happened uh, technically two days ago. <laughs> so, what happened yeah, to you? <laughs> what happened to you guys? Speaking of spanking. Yeah, speaking of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, we're about to find out if that occurred. Uh, <laughs> Jay and Harshu, how was your V-Day? Wait, hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Hey, the hey, hey. day oh, And Masam. And Masam. Mas- <laughs> and Hamza. Yeah, there you go. How's everyone's v Day? Yeah, why don't you start with yourself? All right, my oh. V-Day, what was it? It was a Wednesday, innit? It's a box yeah. Wednesday, to be fair. I can tell you what we were doing in the early hours. We, in the early hours of V-Day, we were playing um, D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, involved yeah, yeah. right is that yeah, the yeah, opposite yeah. of a galentine's yeah a bunch <laughs> of dudes yeah. yeah cocks in hands D. yeah yeah <laughs> keep going to be fair sounds was good a couple times it sounds like good. Yeah, you're describing my perfect valentine's bro keep going <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> jay what'd you do uh, hoshu's in the v-day hoshu's in the v-day mood mate i was got mm. the colors and everything yeah and neon lights wow, everything, that, isn't it? come on yeah what would you do oh yeah. uh, apart from D and D and nothing <laughs> literally you nothing. I think I jumped straight to you two <laughs> instead of you know Masam and me yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy's in Valentine's really. colours and he's done nothing hey hey <laughs> Hosh is in man. Valentine's colours let's hear what he's done bro go on Hosh um, I went for a dinner with my girl uh, that's it keeping this one small I don't need to rub it in man mm-hmm so you, you wait, 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 wait. So you, so you didn't cook <laughs> food for her. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's crazy. crazy. Jay, Jay, two things, two things. One, stop being so salty. <laughs> <laughs> I like two. My yard work free. <laughs> oh, okay, bigger problems. Yeah. If you really cared, you would have booked an Airbnb, got the ingredients, <laughs> gone there, and cooked it. Mm, I don't you just care. don't love your girl. You don't, don't love your girl. That's fair. Where, where did you go? What restaurant did you go to? Uh, Nando's. Oh, I have heard. Where? Yeah. Sorry, giggling, giggling squid. squid. Oh, giggling. Giggly squid. squid is giggly. mental. No, I thought you said giggly. Giggly, <laughs> giggly squid. Giggly yeah. squid sounds like a SpongeBob character, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did you do, uh, Jay? Wait, where is this restaurant, bro? <laughs> that was Sean the Sheep, bro. That wasn't anyone. Giggly squid. There's one in like. I'm oh, bugging. There's that like one in Marlow. There's one in Windsor. I think there is one in Marlow. I went to the one in Beaconsfield. No, no one in their life has shouted out Marlow. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> we went on a school trip to Marlow back in the day. It was a good yeah, school trip, you know. That was a great food trip, man. Yeah. Okay, my son, my son nothing. rizzed up at ice cream, man. My son rizzed up at ice cream, Ooh. man, in Russian, bro. That was That's hilarious. Marlo. That was Marlow, yeah. Oh, no, it might have been Stratford. That was not Marlow. That was Marlow. Jay, wasn't it me and you? Me and you is the geography trip, right? Me and you are doing surveys. Yeah, we went together. the whole year. It's the whole year. I don't think I don't think we paired up. No, but I think we, if you remember the trip, it was like I remember you the had trip, the survey. Yeah. Yeah, you had to like ask people how long survey. it took them to get to Marlo in the morning. Yeah, you took <laughs> met a couple of Australian <laughs> tourists, I remember. <laughs> they need any Hello. reason in it. You need a reason to send out the kids to Marlo. They're like, yeah, send them this document, bro. <laughs> Grab the first question on Google oh. and there you go. I was so dumb that day, you know. We, so one of the questions we had to ask is so basically how long did it take you to get to work today in Marlo? And then there was like ranges, right? It was like zero to 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. And then the max range was like 45 minutes. And this guy, I came up to this one guy, business guy, like properly suited out three piece. I say, you know, how long did it take you to, to get here today? And he was thinking like 10, 15 seconds. He was thinking and he was like, um, yeah, just like reasonable amount of time. And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? Why can't he just answer the question? <laughs> so I was like, I was looking at my paper. I was like, well, Sounds well like, like all right, just talk me through it. What did you do today? He was like, uh, well, first I had to catch a flight from this place to this place. I was like, shit, that's not 45 like minutes, you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was like six <laughs> hours. <laughs> oh god! You know that reminds me. You know when uh, it was uh, the special month? Do you remember when in primary school there was a special month for like incentivizing kids? I think this is a different school you went to, bro. <laughs> to walk. Let me finish off. To walk. <laughs> not not take uh, touch grass uh, cars or uh, <laughs> no. Let me finish. <laughs> to not drive to school. It was like walk drive, to school. It was like a drive yeah, to school. Yeah, walk to school. Yeah, school yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh yeah, yeah oh, there was that. You, you know. could just said that, bro. <laughs> I was lost for words there, and you interjected. Oh, you lost for words because the is lighting, and it just got yeah, you. Yeah, true. That bisexual yeah, yeah. lighting. Okay, so you know, when it Whoa. comes to the <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what, you know, what the fuck is going on? I mean, listen, 
I'll get down to some pink light if you get down to some pink light. Anyway, so the walk to school stuff, yeah. And you know, and every time they'd ask the kids, like, yeah, did you did you take the bus? Did you walk? Take the car? Did any of you lie? <laughs> did any of you lie? Yeah. Oh, right. this whole point, that Sam. made no sense. Scrap this whole no point. one cared. <laughs> Therapy with Masam. No, uh, Masam, yeah, man, I understand your feelings and your emotions. Obviously, that's some childhood trauma right there. But, um, <laughs> just know that it's okay to lie sometimes. No, you know what? You want to actually talk about childhood trauma? This never actually happened to me. But trust trust me, it didn't. But you know when someone would <laughs> fart? When someone would <laughs> fart? And, like, all the kids would run away from the one kid. <laughs> Do you know how big that is? Oh, bro, shoot, what, are you you to, what are you meant to do, bro? You stand there, wait. What, you stand there, sniff his no, ass, bro? Don't, don't leave like me, it. don't leave me. No, like, Take it. me with you. I just remember thinking, like, it was good, like, oh my God, I could, it'd never be me. Could never be me, because that is trauma. Bro, you I remember we were watching too. High School Musical one time, yeah? Yeah. And this guy just, like, we were sitting in, sitting in class, in all the time movie on. This was like year five, year six, yeah? <laughs> one day, he lets it rip. Everyone's like, whoa, what the hell, what the hell? And he's like, what, what? It's natural. <laughs> Jeez, nah. <laughs> that guy's alpha. That kid is alpha, nah, bro. Nah, that dude. kid's cool, bro. He should be the host. Oh, you should be hosting nah, typical, not you, bro. Do you not, do you not remember a certain because someone that all four of us know in the exam hall, this lady, this girl, yeah, she yeah, sneezed. Yeah. And farted at the same time in complete silence. <laughs> she she Beyblade let that shit rip, bro. <laughs> we it was on, gone. That shit was hilarious. I didn't know that. She went. She went. It, it was fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> Do you know what's hilarious. hilarious? I sat right behind you. I literally tell you top three <laughs> funniest moments ever in the exam hall. Yeah, top three. Okay, Ali. <laughs> Oh, is she falling asleep? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Woken up. Got yeah, woken yeah. up by the exam. Should I tell you the story, bro? Should I tell you the story? Why? <laughs> was that a proper well, exam or was it mock exam? It was IGCC. It was, no, it was, it was like... No, no, it was, I was it? Can't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it was, was IGCC. Deep in a GCSE exam, man. A full GCSE exam. Nah, nah, it was, it was past no, no, tennis because was... when we did early maths. Yeah, we did early maths. It was like maths. the filler. Dude, before yeah. the reference, though, like he wasn't my friend back then. I, I didn't, <laughs> he was. We're, not, we're not still not friends. Like what are you talking about? Bro? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Relax it? yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, long story cut short. I was out the night before. Literally jumped out, snuck out, and then snuck back As in. Always. No sleep. And I was like, "What's the point? This shit don't count towards nothing. Like, there's, I'm not getting the grade out of this. I've done maths already, so I basically just knocked out. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I don't know. Like, what exam did you do then? It was I IGCC, maths. bro. Maths. Oh, you lot took the dumb one, I say. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. we're not oh, on your yeah, level, G. Yeah, we're not yeah. taking further mathematics and that. F S M Q and that. Did you use it? Yeah. Did you use it, bro? Full yeah. Sc- Do you have that on your CV? Yeah, of course. Do you actually? <laughs> I got IGC. Yeah, I did fair. it. Why would I not put it? Really? I haven't put IGC, bro. Those lessons were. <laughs> yeah, because no one knows what IGC is, so man. Bro, they were it's international, so bro. Worldwide. They were like literally mean Honshu, and there'll be two other dons. Fucking about. Not think who was in your class, bro. We it had it was not good class. It was, it was a good one. class. It was, that was a wee bit ruddy cry from. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I was in the same class then. I think you so. Yeah, yeah I, think I, was, you I just went, said top left. You went in the table though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You went at the cool kids. You went with the cool kids, bro. Nah, to be fair, the cool kids who fell asleep during the exam. In that exam, I didn't really revise. I had no clue, and I was obviously stressed because I was regretting it. Gosh, me, I don't have no clue. No, don't no remember. idea. Just choose any line the alphabet. Let bro. me open my CV. Let me see what I got. Hold right. On. I'll go on my anyway, CV. but I'm just saying it was so funny because I didn't do no prep for that. And then in the exam, stip- typical, I'm like stressing. Like, oh my god, how do you do question four A? And I just look up because I just see Horshu <laughs> laying on the table. Knocked out, you must have felt so happy after that, bro. You know, no, as soon as, bro, as soon as he did that, I put my pen down, bro. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> lost, bro. Uh, Brother, uh, listen, god. let me explain why. I even asked, I was like, listen, I'm not doing this exam. Let me leave. They said, no, you have to stay. So I said, say no more. I'm knocking up, bro. <laughs> say less. Oh, oh, bro. Fucking lit. Go to the story. You can't lie. I didn't write my grade down for IGCC see on my uh, CV, so it probably wasn't that great. Nah, this guy <laughs> failed, bro. <laughs> nah, it's probably a B. I think it was a B. I think it was a B. See, even the not cool kids, bro. <laughs> nah, actually, <laughs> no. In my GCCs, I got four A's, seven B's, and a C, so it was a B. Because I know I got C, so it was a B. Was a B. I respect B. that. The fact that he remembers that is fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lads, what'd you get for GCCs? Nerd, bro. What'd you get for GCCs, lads? Drop it. Drop your grades. What'd you get? I don't fucking remember, bro. I repeat I yours again, so we got a benchmark. 
<laughs> four A's, seven B's, and one C. What was the C in? Uh, C was in business and economics. We all got F's in the coursework and <laughs> just like dragged everything down. I got C in product design. Jay, F you know? in the coursework. But yeah, everyone even got Arshu didn't do that, bro. and he was stuck on buffer stock for two years. <laughs> <laughs> buffer stocks. <laughs> I didn't do. Shit. I didn't do GCSE econ, bro. <laughs> What, you went straight to A level. Something. Yeah, fam. Oh. Boy, check this out. Do you know how dumb this was, yeah? So I got C, right, for business economics at GCC, right? GCCs. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I want to go do economics for um, A levels, isn't it? Because you had to get a B. If you did business and economics, you had to get a B in order to do economics at uh, A levels. But if you didn't do business and economics, all you needed was like a B in English. Yeah. I'm like, brother, I got the B in English. B and I got the will. B in English. Like, just let me go. Yeah, you got it just makes no sense. That broke my heart. Actually, you don't, no, no, should <laughs> I make it worse? Should I make it worse? I, I, was originally, I was originally on media and then I transferred to <laughs> economics. Oh, <laughs> this, this is the easiest day of my life, bro. Media I revised easy, in the hot, in the, you know the hot room, the radiator room, bruv. Next radiator. to history. B16. <laughs> no, not B16, you donkey. You know the history, <laughs> Clark's class next to the toilets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that little room oh, you walk in. Oh, are you dumb? You oh, oh, geez, with me for seven four. years. Like, near the stairs. Near the near stairs. The yeah, yeah. That's the, the little room. The toilet. The, yes, the little yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one of opposite. Bro, we had yeah, a yeah. there. The shit hole. No, no. No, you dumb, bro. Not the history Wait, class, bro. No. Outside when you it, enter, yeah, 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 the yeah, little yeah. room with the two heaters on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bare warm when you walk in. Anyways, I revised it before the exam. Always hot. Radiator springs, bro. It was literally hot for no reason, bro. Like, for no absolute reason. Bare Bare time. hot. Bare hot, bro. But anyways, I just revised in there for about 20 minutes on the day before I got to the exam and I got an A in media. Jeez. So. Shine it. Jeez. It's one that four is all of that whole story just to flex media. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> nah, not flexing. I'm just like, we were talking about it, innit? No, nah, it was coming to handy now, bro. He's our director on set. Who took him? He's the director. He does set up the cameras. You bro. know what? He says the cinematography, bro. I put him on the casting couch. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? I provided the couch. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, and the BBC. Dude, that's <laughs> wild. Whoa! <laughs> that's wild. Anyway, talk about BBC Valentine's lads. I'll Jay get him out, bro. <laughs> My yeah. son, that was good. That was yeah, good. Bro. Bro. You okay. can get away with it. Mine's yeah, even more boring than Hamza. I wasn't in the country, so I didn't. I didn't do anything. I just went out to eat. Oh but really? Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So so you can I ask you a question? You don't love your see... girl either. You didn't do anything for her. You didn't cook, no? No, no we're doing something next, <laughs> next take Friday. Away. Don't worry about it. Oh, delayed, mm. yes. <sighs> didn't love her that Wait, much. Wait, I want to ask you guys a question because I see it all over TikTok and uh, it's like, do you guys still ask your significant other to be your Valentine's? Oh, bruv, I fucking hate... Thank you, my son. Thank you. Because yeah. she's going to listen. You... Oh, fuck. It's so <laughs> enraging. It's so fucking <laughs> enraging, bro. <laughs> you don't understand. Paul King. She... Paul hey, Paul brother, King. listen. Any... <sighs> I still ask though. Fuck. But it's just so fucking frustrating, bro. She was like, she was like, she says, you still you know, asked. I have to, fam. I have to, bro. bro when she... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do, you gotta do, bro. She, but it's game's so, game. I don't get it. We, the, the, I was actually not gonna ask you. Then we went on a double date with my boy and his girl. And she starts saying to my girl, if he's not asked you, like, it's a violation. This that's trying to stir the pot because I said I'm not going to do it. Bro. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> what, what uh, she's, waste, man. She's Bobby, though. She's Bobby. Though. No, no, don't say that. Don't say that. She's, she's my G. Oh, sorry, she, yeah, she's you, the waste, I man. you said the guy. <laughs> no, no, I thought you said the guy. My bad. Oh, no, no, no. He, no, 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 no. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, bruv. And then I have to, <laughs> innit? We I are a typical gentleman, bro. Yeah, bro. We on. don't disrespect yeah. women. Good one. We don't disrespect women. <laughs> <laughs> we never, yeah, we don't. Don't watch our red flags. Hey, yo, I disrespect the women and I came back. What's going on? No, we're gentlemen. Oh, okay, so, cool. Well, so what? Basically, your girl wants, wants you to ask her every year, and then you yeah, have man. to submit to that. Yes, bro. Yeah. Jay, okay. what about you, Jay? Uh, I, I don't ask. It will probably cause some <laughs> problems, but I don't. Jay doesn't even take her out on the bloody day, bro. <laughs> let alone ask. <laughs> I'm you. in a different country. I, to has he actually oh, got a girl? Did you at least bring it? You'll never know. Did you, Bella? You'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> Yeah. Ringo, bro, he said no WhatsApp. I said HVD. That's it, bro. Bro, he doesn't even <laughs> read WhatsApp, geezer. <laughs> yeah, I just said Wagwan. That was it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's that's nice. A couple of kiss emojis message, in that, innit? <laughs> no, kiss emojis too much, bro. Yeah, that's you see me bro. dropping okay, cool. kiss emojis in the chat. Yeah, oh, Hamza, no. to anyone that's listening, Hamza and Massa have been flirting bare recently. Yeah, to be it's fair, mad. I'm getting mad. It's mainly been me flirting. doing it with no like return. 
back. But no <laughs> yeah, ROI. No, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no <laughs> ROI. This guy's got no <laughs> ROI. No, no ROI, return on incest, bro. None of that. Oh. Uh, don't remind me, lads. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 How is incest so, reminding you What's the first topic of the day, bro? Return on incest. So we're talking about... um That's crazy. I can't rush over that, bro. What the fuck? What? Mike said return on incest. And the other Don said, don't remind me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, clip that! All right, let's let's let's, let's get into me. Let's get job. into me. I want to I want to talk about there's a recent thing, the Open AI thing, the sort of thing. It came out today. I'm sure yeah. you guys have seen it, right? I want to know, Jay. I always talk about a job, but as a designer sub, yeah. <laughs> designer what, do sub. Think, what do you think about this in the future? Because I feel like, okay, so people don't know the Sora is a text to, was it text to video? Yeah. Text to video text AI to video, generator, yeah. right? So, <clears throat> I mean, I chucked in links. We've all seen it. Um, so that's for your reference point. So when it comes to the design medium, where, where do you think this is going to take it? Do you think he'll put it back? Do you think it'll lead to like, cutting costs do you think people will just be like we don't need ui designers we don't need front-end dons we can just like literally type in all our spec specified requirements bish bash bosh we've got a flipping generated video then send it off to stakeholders we're done uh, that's, oh. that's never gonna happen uh, really you think yeah, so yeah what, nah, why, why do you think happen. so because because you still need design is way more than that right like the amount of work that that i do which is actual putting stuff on a page or doing whatever is like 10% of my actual job. The rest is everything that happens around that, like actually figuring out what the client needs and how we get from point A to point B and how we actually solve people's problems. AI isn't actually solving people's problems. It's just a tool that you can use to help you achieve something quicker. So it's just going to be the same stuff. Marketing could use it or like designers could use it, but you still need someone who knows how to use it. You still need someone who can make the most of it. And like, that's really never going to change, to be honest. Sure. So, so then do you think it'll just be a tool to improve your efficiency? Yeah, a hundred percent. It'll be a tool that will be used to make more money for people, but mm. it, it's not going to get rid of the people that know how to do their job. Do you think it's evil? No, not for really. my own safety it's I'm most if you've that. ever used ai uh it's actually way dumber than it seems oh 100 percent. it's so bad sometimes it's gonna murder you come up with years, a good brother. response yeah. as to why isn't I'll keep it silent, bro. Uh, yeah bro honestly i, I like you, i yeah. see I, I work with a lot of content designers basically people who write narratives like their whole job is, is just writing text essentially and one of my good mates is a senior content designer and he spent the last like month training an ai to be able to do like a task for our client the amount that this guy has to t he's writing basically essays to train this ai right to get this to work if he didn't do that it would just spew nonsense spew yeah, nonsense yeah. so it's not like someone could just turn up type like a like a one sentence prompt and then it gives you everything you need you have to spend mm -hmm. ages training. They market it. it like that, but then once you start using it, it's like, yeah, this, yeah. this thing's dog. It's never that. It's never that. And you need someone you... who actually knows the business to be able to get it to work properly. Are you are yeah, you saying you know... that for your role? Your role in particular, though? Are you saying that in general? Like AI as a, like a blanket statement for like in general, like jobs in general? In general, yeah. There'll be some things that will be phased out. Like anything that can be automated will be phased out, right? You don't need like assistance. You can just AI a calendar and shit like that, right? Or in a manufacturing yeah. facility, you can AI processes. So this happens, this happens, this happens. You don't need a, as many people for sure. But if anything's skill-based, generally, you still need the people that know the skills. But do you not think it's, it's one of the things where it's like, as you said, um, someone that knows how to use the AI. So do you feel like your job or whoever's job it is will just be trained in that and your job will move away more from actually doing the work rather than to train the AI into doing the work or to tell the AI what to do? Because the reason I'm saying that is because we had a conference recently at work and they were basically like, give it 10 years, your jobs are going to be fucked. Like there's no point of you. Like they were basically saying, learn something else soon. For digital marketing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Really? I wasn't at the call. I was remember the um what, yeah. What did they say the... AI would do would do for your job that would phase you out? I think it's similar to what you were saying in sense of um in terms of efficiency, in terms of um uh, automation, if there's anything that people like 
like put in a report by hand rather mm-hmm. than an AI just running a script and just putting it for you, stuff like that. Um, but the reason I'm saying that is because, yeah, I heard that. And well, I wasn't actually at the thing. It was a day that we had, um, you know, my, I said that <clears throat> I said that my company had like a whole um, party at Chelsea or whatever. And I never went. It was that day. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. <laughs> But they told me, people that went told me and they were basically saying like it was just some depressing ass fucking day. Everyone was just crying about their jobs being done in like 10 years. And stuff. Wow. Yeah, this man, here's to working in a career that's not affected by AI. Can I get, can I get hell yeah, lads? Well, fine, lads. Am I, am I the only one? Computer science. <laughs> <laughs> Computer science design and marketing. Hey, shit. Join me, lads. Join me. This is good well, the on the side, is, bro. The, the funny thing is, Jay, I wanted to go over what you said because mm. the irony is when it comes to clients, right? When you're doing like a supplier client, job right which is basically it solutions similar to what your thing is <clears throat> except it's not it right design solutions if you want to characterize like that the thing is with clients is generally they're so dumb because if you deep it if you deep it look how long it took to revolutionize the online system when it comes to zoom right there is mm-hmm. real no reason that people kept coming to the offices and like they were so reluctant in their old ways maybe dumb is not dumb is harsh but they're like uh, traditional right so the the th- <clears throat> until the pandemic right until they were forced until they're back against the wall and my thing is exactly what you said when it comes to ba at least like fundamentally the idea is clients never know what they want to do they never actually really know what they want right if they knew it's what like, they wanted they wouldn't come to you in the first place exactly and so i don't think there'll ever be a situation where i know i gave you that prompt of a question where the client can just chuck an open ai yeah but they don't really want to know they don't know and the thing is because they're traditional i don't think they would ever like <clears throat> spend the internal resources to have a department within them it's cheaper you know to I mean? offload it to well there's exactly like there's two things to that right so the first thing is yeah a lot of the time they, they don't know what they want and actually a lot of the time they come to you knowing what they want. They just don't realize what they want is absolutely stupid. Yeah. So they come to you with a vision. The vision just doesn't make sense, right? They just, you get to the top and there's just one guy who just drew a picture on a piece of paper and then handed it down and said, yeah, this is what I want, but it makes no sense. So a lot of the time you get that, which is, you know, that's why you need people who actually know what they're doing to come in and help. The other thing is what people don't talk about a lot so you've got like chat gpt you've got whatever what's what's the google one gemini and now you've got microsoft copilot you've got loads of these ai right but when it comes to client work big businesses stuff like that they're never going to use these things because then they they legally cannot give away company data right and all of these are open ai stuff which trains the ai best off of public data so they're never going to give that stuff away which means they either have to use an ai model that's trained in-house which most of these companies are never going to do because they don't have the resources for that. Or they have to partner with companies that can have their own AI models, right? And when it comes to those companies, they're going to make sure that their staff are never put out of business because they're the ones that are using and training that AI. So that's, that's like a big part of it. All the clients that we work with, we basically use our own AI models um, and we pull like some of the code from these open stuff, but we funnel it into our own model. Yeah. Interesting. It's weird. Yeah, man. the open the open source nature is hundred percent with GDPR and the data protection. That is true. Bro, GDPR is so long, bro. <laughs> yeah, Nothing yeah, in life man. gives headache the way GDPR gives headache, bro. So long. <laughs> so I have to put that out there. So it's, it causes <laughs> He's been pain and suffering, bro. <laughs> I've been through it, bro. It's too many times, bro. It's so long. <laughs> so no, we haven't came up with GDPR yet. Idiot. What, protecting stuff <laughs> yeah bro it's just long in it just, uh, just dash it all out there man free for all man rust all of that man come on so long man people you know that. people who do that gdpr nonsense they're just working legal man those guys are just weird and long in it yeah they're neeks bro i mean <laughs> that's true goody two shoes bro <sighs> working legals get a life man rules are meant to be broken in Hamza. that's what i'm saying <laughs> harsh this might be my favorite co-host you know don't lie to them. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but listen, at least it looks cool as shit, right? It was pretty cool. Well, it's four letters. letters. Yeah. Oh. If you compare, yeah, four letters. <laughs> if you compare it, if you compare yes. it to some like a text to video generation last year to oh. this year already, mm. the progress is nutty. Have you day, seen the night, night, and day? You seen the comparisons to the Will Smith spaghetti vid? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone's talking about that, but it's yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah. 
It is a rule in computer science. Hush, I don't know if you remember because they were taught us in like A level. It's something about the transistor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've lost. I can't you remember. Out. There's something but about. It's, this is the transistor rule, but never mind. But like, yeah, they double each time over a certain what, amount of years. What subject did you, you remember? Just say? Does it sound familiar at all? It what does. does. It's it's about Moore's law, familiar. bruv. It's Moore's law. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that um, the oh, number of transistors physics. doubles oh, yeah. uh, every, approximately every two years. It's an observation. Oh, yeah. of, uh, that's, that's mad that you remember that. That's great memory, man. That's he lit. remembered it. Hums yeah, I remember it, Moore's so. law and I just Googled exactly what yeah, it was. It's like the power doubles every couple of years or something. Oh, no, but, um, he I, I swear, he it doesn't it plateau that. though. Doesn't it plateau <laughs> after a certain point? Yes, that's exactly what it is. The idea is eventually yeah. it will plateau, yeah. um, which is kind of funny because then that 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 ideology fits to everything in life. It's brother. a co-founder of Intel, by the way. But what doesn't that? Oh, is it? Yeah, right. It's like yeah, diminishing what marginal that returns. Apply bro. to, bro. Exactly. What doesn't that apply to in life, bro? Everything eventually will uh, flatten well, out. Well, how you love Brits? Are you harsh, yeah? Mm-hmm. God, you know how harsh just attention. knowledge on the pod. You know how harsh you just knowledge on the pod, yeah? It's you know how violated. It's a breath of fresh air. It's a breath of fresh air, Oh, that's diminishing returns. Yeah, that's the first as an eco, bro. <laughs> <laughs> his name, brother. I want to know really it, In it, bro. Fucking That's outrageous. There's still fucking general knowledge because again. Whoa, whoa, we give you props in it. We give you props. Well, listen, when we give you props, you don't like it. Come on, man. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You just violate you and say we violate I, you. Like, I, oh, everyone's violating me today. I, I'll hold it. I'll you know, hold, hold it. You, I'll hold it. Love, love. You know what, Hoshi? Let's. let's, let's <laughs> no, it was definitely a violation. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a compliment at all. Such a cut. Sorry. Such a cut. <laughs> Hoshi, what do you want to talk about, mate? Me? Yeah. What do I want to talk about? I want to talk, while we're on the topic of tech and, you know, AI mm. and all that, why don't we talk about Chad Zuckerberg? What's he been up to you? Ooh, Chad Zuckerberg. What's he up to? Chad. Ah, oh, so this is unfortunate. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Jay hasn't. I needed Jay to watch it. Have you seen Hamza? Oh, well, have you seen it? No. Is it the video you got linked? Yes. Just play the video, isn't it? Though. It's oh. three minute video. That's the thing. But oh, right. it, in, yeah, we'll uh, play it and cut it then. <clears throat> in it, in it, TLDR, TLDR, essentially Zuckerberg rinses the new Apple uh, Max. Pro, Jay? Apple, Apple Max Pro, Vision, Pro. Vision. Oh, Vision Pro. He just rinses it. He it's a three minute it's three minute breakdown of why his MetaQuest is so far superior. It's actually so elite. And I'm just seeing all the memes of all calling him now Chad Zuckerberg <laughs> and calling Tim Cook Soy Boy. And it's just elite. <laughs> Tim Cook the Soy Boy. <laughs> Tim Cook the Soy Boy. Because like Jamie right. Zuckerberg just d- dismantled his whole idea is like, you know, I tr- I was really excited for it. I tried it on. Uh, he as PC possible says it's shit. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what though? Guess what though? And it's so good. Guess what, Zaki? Guess who sold more? Wasn't you, Ooh. G? Wasn't Ooh. you? I'm just putting that out there. I, mean, we'll I don't know if you actually it. Is, is it out yet? <laughs> yeah, but the point I'm saying, well, listen, there was my Quest 2 and 1, bro. True. <laughs> yeah, but Apple True. tax, isn't it? That's what that's exactly yeah, that's yeah. my point. Apple tax. Even if it's worse, it's just Apple tax. It's well, Apple tax. either way, it's it's pretty great video. So what's oh, what's, what's he saying then? What's he complaining about it? There's loads of there's loads of tech tech stuff, bro. But like his his whole idea is he talks about the gaming aspect as well because a lot of the uh, the MetaQuest stuff has been into the gaming aspect, and they're like he's like yeah, I was kind of disappointed. The Apple sh- you can't do gaming on that shit. Mm-hmm. And then there's other <laughs> stuff where he talks about the uh, he's like yeah, sure the resolution is better, but then he just names about four or five things that the, his own make is way better in. Like the I thing wish though, people, yeah. The- the thing about all that stuff is... It's such a good video, though. You need to watch it. Jay, you especially, because I'll I want to hear your opinion on it. I'll watch it. The, the, the thing about this stuff is, though, right, is, like, uh, I may be wrong, but I swear all the, like, MetaQuest and whatever, Oculus, whatever else he owns, yeah, yeah. it's all virtual reality. It's not augmented reality. So how is yeah, it even virtual. comparable? Because uh, Apple Vision Pro is augmented, right? It puts the stuff in your physical world. That's why it's got loads of cameras. There his must be some that. AR capabilities. Uh, no, his, his does. It's VR. His does. His does, but as well, though. It's, it's it, kinda... it says virtual reality. Mixed reality VR headset. Maybe there's some AR capability. I'm sure there are some AR capabilities. That's a good point, Jay. Interesting. I don't know. We'll have to watch the video. If anyone's seen the video, the video, then let Rich us know people. what your thoughts are. Please do. I just love I just love how the narratives change from Zuckerberg being a flipping lizard, and I just non-stop saw people saying, Chad, yeah, he Alpha. Well, he <laughs> mind just BJJ now, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That that's literally he's trying, the trying to change. The memes, the, he's trying the memes, to change the perception bro. of the world. Don't bro. let this change the fact that he's got a massive bunker in Hawaii, bro. He's a lizard, <laughs> exactly. brother. He's a lizard, brother. Forty-one yeah. or two, two, forty-two. No, not forty-one. Are you 42, delusional, 42, bro? 42. That's like six weeks ago. Forty-two. Yeah. 42. Um, but it's just Are hilarious because that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one rude by letting it slide. It was Wait, so on. rude by letting it slide. Hold on, hold on. I let it slide. He edits the videos, boys. He rewatches them back. That's what you think. He rewatches them back. Janan Dananan in Sri Lanka is doing it, bruv. On Fiverr. <laughs> Shout out my Sri Lankan <laughs> viewer. You know who you are. He's in Colombo. Yeah, from Colombo, bruv. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, but anyway. Slated that's... Again. <laughs> from who? Yeah. From who? Yeah. Sri give it a rest, love. A, 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 a certain rest, man in our party sometimes, bro. <laughs> nah, listen, don't worry, mate. You're still gonna watch. Hamza, yeah, re- Hamza, repeat, repeat the Sri Lanka's name again. Janan Dunnan. Okay. There yeah. you go. That was crazy, bro. The way you it's, just listen. Sh- it sounds like it, though, isn't it? It do probably you, do you is. Look up? How do you spell that? Put a J in there. Put a couple N's that are repeated and a couple of vowels in between. You got a Sri Lankan name. That's the recipe. <laughs> Tell you, man. Tell you. Jay, what the wrong. Wait, a couple J's, couple constants. J. Awardner, Jay Surya. Look, yeah. what did you say? What did you call it? That's your gummy, bro. No, you just said no, J no. and Surya. I'm happy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> J you know and Surya, wow. Too fair, <laughs> in it? I don't know how we not clocked that. Yeah. yeah, you're right about Zuckerberg. Everyone was like, look at this Alpha, this BJJ. Like, obviously, you obviously won the recent the tournament in it. Oh, yeah, did he? Yeah. Did he? Did he take on? Um, What's his name? Elon. Flipping Venom. Uh, what's his, MV- what's his Tom name? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Did you face Tom Hardy? No, no, no. He didn't. Those Were they going to? Things. Or am I no, imagining no, no. this? Yes, what? So if his fight happened, right. his fights have happened, and he won. He's had BJJ tournaments. Yeah, he's won. Yeah, yeah. He's won some. Oh. Yeah. Please, I was just training. I, I didn't know he actually had the fight. <laughs> no, he competes. Nah. That's pretty funny. He's still a lizard, though. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Devil incarnate. Come on the pod, though, isn't it? This is way worse, bro. Uh, nah, I don't really think there is, to be honest I think with there you. Is. Nah, I think there's, there's definitely worse. Zuck. There's definitely there's worse. Who's worse than Zuck? Zuck? Yeah, it's, definitely worse. It's, a short, it's a short list. Give me, give me sure. one person on that list. I'd put, you don't think Elon's worse? Musk than Zuck? is way worse. No, I think they're just as bad yes. as each other. Nah, bro. Bro, at least Zuck came up with Facebook. Harshly, these men have actually like lost themselves to Wait, the list. Wait, <laughs> Wait, but at least Zuck literally developed Facebook. You man moving what, like Voldemort, like you know that man speaking all this with Nagini and that, bro. Is he a little thing now, yeah? <laughs> you man, I'm finished. No, it's just the competition between them two, oh, bro. You just make one little Farmville game and you get everyone on your board. That's, he's done you over, <laughs> mate. He's done you over. Farmville. Bro, bro, called Farmville Elon's not an engineer, Farmville. brother. It's not like he's creating the Teslas. Chad, <laughs> Chad Zuckerberg literally created Facebook, bro. Hey, no, no, we're talking about how they are. We're not talking about what they've given to society. He stole it from the twins. True. True, he according to Social Network, he stole it. <laughs> but that's yeah. different. Yeah. That's different. To be fair, <laughs> Musk did, <laughs> Musk did <laughs> co-found <laughs> PayPal and that is the argument. Nah, what's that? And Tesla and SpaceX. I bet you he funded it. I bet you he funded it. No, he's just a funder, bro. That doesn't count. He's not actually practicing. He studied physics bro. at uni, bro. He's got brains. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cap. He's clever, bro. He is. Yeah. He's, he's evil. Cap. Just like Zucky. But, you know, oh, he's got brains. Shit. Musk is I'm pretty sure. I'm Zuckerberg, pretty sure bro. he co-founded like the technical side of PayPal, not this funding. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. No pre- I have heard stories. Of <laughs> PayPal stuff is fraud. Yeah, there's literally no chance, Jay. You're, you're actually fact check yourself. I don't know if I want to trust my son though because he's currently right best now. friends with Zuckerberg. So I don't know if you're <laughs> I'm not best friends. In a, in you a two thing. minutes ago, and I replay here. You're like, oh, Zuckerberg's my best friend. He's so nice. He's done, never done wrong. Flip, you caught that. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, let's move on because you're going to find yourself wrong. And I'll just save you the uh, shame because you're wrong. I already know shame. this. Shame. Shame. Yeah, the shame. Uh, shame. Do you want to... Let's uh, move on. Let's you're move on. To edit that in. He's got a bachelor's degree in economics and physics. Yeah, I told yeah, you he's physics. Not, yeah. He's, not, he's not a tech guy, though. He's actually, that don't mean shit. I got a degree in economics. So anyway, what... <laughs> yeah, you missed out the physics. You conveniently missed the physics part. Out, <laughs> Listen, that don't mean shit. I got a degree in computer science, bro. <laughs> hey, hey well, I wouldn't go that far. I want to go that far. I do. I brother no, no, is no, BCSC. No, no. Show me, show me your BCSC. BCSC, bro. Stop. BCSC ticket. What did he say? BCS. BCSC, bro. Man saying NSBCC and that. NSBCA and RSBCA and all that, bro. All right, right let's move on, bro. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, what's next? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Do you want to put, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to talk about like chopping off balls and that? Do you want to talk about that? Excuse me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you've already I'm started. I'm always down to chop off some balls, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, let's talk about some 
Cox getting chopped, bruv. So basically, yeah. First of all, if Google, if Google freaking recommends me India today as a news article, I'm moving to like ask oh, Bing, news, bruv. Bing. I hope it does. Yeah, what, you're not subscribed news. to Hindustan Times? Nah, gee, nah. <laughs> Nah, they make good bro. content. I, no, I don't <laughs> Do like they? Do All right, they? so... No. <laughs> you mind ready for this, yeah? No. Madagascar. Obviously, shout out Ash Dykes. Madagascar. Shout out set. In our shoot. <laughs> In our shoot. You know, Ash Dykes violated. You're not violated. You're not violated. You're not violated. It's actually too easy, bro. Low-hanging fruit, bro. It's low-hanging fruit. Well, speaking of low-hanging fruit, I'm about to talk about that. So, Madagascar is set to castrate... Child oh, arpists yeah. after its parliament passed a controversial law last week. So, good. Long story short, yeah. <laughs> those who are nonces, right? <laughs> long story are, short. Yeah, long story short, yeah. Because it's going to be, it's a long story. It's <laughs> now going to be short, short after nonces. this. Yeah. Now we get it. We got yeah, it. We got yeah. it. I think so we got it. Chemical, but apparently they're saying, nah, 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 chemical's not enough. You need to actually get their garden shares out and chop the things off, bruv, if you're found. I respect being it. a child artist. So, um, yeah, man. I respect it. As Fair it should enough, be. Innit? As it should be, bro. Uh, as it should be, but I'm a bit confused here. Isn't <laughs> chemical castration the same shit? I'm confused. What's different here? What pain? Uh, anyway, they right? want the pain, bro. They want the garden shears. They want the like, unsanitized. Yeah, your chopped. Bro. Nah, nah. Yes. Chemicals is just to stop sex hormone production. Surgical is actually cutting them off. But yeah, it's, it's not dousing not balls in though. acid. It's not dousing balls no, in I know, acid. I know, I know. It's, it's like a vasectomy style. They're yeah, vasectomizing yeah, all of yeah, them. Yeah, 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 but does that not hurt? Does that not hurt? Um, the process. Is it castration? Can you take pills or something? How, how's it done? Don't they want it to hurt? Isn't that the point? Yeah, I, I get punishment <laughs> aspect. But I'm just saying, like, it seems like an interesting use of taxpayers' money. <laughs> nah, bro. apparently it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> like, I mean, wow. Madagascar is a third world country, bro. They're spending taxpayers' money on chopping off a. That's a questionable. It's just right, circumcision 2.0, really, if you think about it. By the way, in 2023, <laughs> they had 600 cases in 2023. And it's crazy, though, because if you think back to Madagascar, 600? Yeah, you think back, yeah, in 2023, and uh, they've got like 20 million population. So, oh my God. If you remember back to what Ash Dyke said yeah, way about Madagascar, that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to say. Remember, he said about it, the capital, shout out, Antananarivo. Because I paid attention, I'm like harsh you. <laughs> they, that's obviously the capital, right? He looks and like then his remember though, Ashtag said he started from the bottom, right? Yes, the south. So he's like first. literally the bottom till literally the bottom fifty percent of the country is just like the wild yeah. west. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. literally there's no infrastructures. Like they're all just wild west tribes, villages, mud huts, black all magic, of that. black magic, all of that stuff. Poor so it's like racism. it's like bro, what's this six hundred in like just the capital? Mm. Yeah, I know that that, that six hundred you know cap I mean? clearly there's way more. But listen, I, I'm all for cutting off nonsense balls. I like any <laughs> other man, right? <laughs> but, hey, 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 can't speak but, for everyone. Can't speak for everyone. Can't speak for the nonsense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But like I just feel like surely Madagascar is such a poor country, they would want to like, I don't know, spend the taxpayers' money different ways, bro. That seems nah, like I a can't poor lie, use of public spending. Bro, the rest is getting lie. pocketed. You're acting like that shit ain't corrupt. Shit, That's what I'm saying, bro. So, like, listen, if I'm a Madagascar native, what oh, are they call the way, Um, what, Malagasy. 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 Not Madagascar. Not Madagascar. He's Malagasy. <laughs> no, he said Malagasy. He said Malagasy. Did he? Yeah. No, he said yeah, Mada. Yeah. No, no, he said Mada. I heard bruv, a D. Bro, I said Malagasy. No, no, no. It was in the oh, video as well. I said Malagasy. You can't. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. The, apparently, this is only for those who uh, do it to a child under the age of ten. Why oh, stop there, bro? Bro, if you're so, eleven, why stop there? Why stop? Why is ten the flipping deadline, bro? Are you ready? Yeah? Why, this is what they're saying. Because the, leg- the, the legal flip? age for a certain <laughs> thing. <laughs> all right, all right, let me oh, so, okay. I've got this right. So, below the age of ten is uh, surgical. 10 to 13 is surgical or chemical, and then 14 <laughs> to 17 is chemical. Wow. But All them 14 year olds. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Why stop there, bro? Why are you stopping there? Let me see the like... age of consent, though. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. I need to make a. I need to. Oh, by the way, lads. Joke. I need to make a wild joke. Oh, I need to Listen. double check this. The age say of. Con- it, it. Oh, I'm so confused how this. Okay, say, say what you're going to say now. Say, say, it. Listen, say it. Listen. 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 <laughs> nonsense. Nonsense has never made the distinction between 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They will now. Before, bro. They will now. <laughs> they will. They will now. They're like, hey, yo, let me stop right there. Shit. Wait, you're. <laughs> <laughs> You're ten. You're ten. You're ten in one month. You're ten in one month. Fuck. Stop. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. <laughs> just like, what oh my god. It's true though, isn't it? It's, it's true. true. <laughs> when they made a distinction, That's brother. Outrageous, like, bro. like, just wait, fuck, you know. Tre- but I'm confused though because check this out, lads. You know, I just said, right? bro, why are you researching this so much? You're no, so no, invested. No, 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 no. He's actually got a good no. point. He's actually, no, no, I've got a good point. Sex, no, no. Right? Listen, 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 listen. Exactly, Harshi. Exactly. Bro, the, so if they do children between 14 and 17, it's punishable, right? By chemical crash. The age of consent in Madagascar. Anyone want to take a guess how old it is? 11. 13. 12. 14. Yeah, the no. math ain't math in here. Why, am I, why, why is someone getting chemically frustrated for... <laughs> Like, if oh, the age of consent is 14, well, like, what's going hey, on? The nonce is going to get off at court and literally, bro, at that age, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm very what? confused how it works. That's fucked, He's not going to get prosecuted, isn't it? I mean, it might be precedent. What's the age of consent? Is it like... 14. No, but is that set through precedent or is that set through like an actual... Bro, you're law? asking like, too the... many questions. Man. Asking... I thought you were researching my like, legacy <laughs> nonsery laws. All right, here you go. It's 14... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's search history is done. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's using a Madagascar Mal- Malagasy VPN. VPN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Malagascar Malagasy VPN. VPN. That's Malagasy. going straight in the bank <laughs> account, bro. <laughs> that's, what, that's Express VPN, bro. Uh, good. Nah, Special. I don't know, bro. And now a word 14, from our bro. sponsor. <laughs> yeah. If you want to touch guys. kids. <laughs> 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 don't use atypical we don't condone that no we don't condone that we don't oh, condone that geez. but yeah um <laughs> there you go man i don't know what else to say bro that's it yeah bro. i'm dumbfounded at that there's so many no, there's so maths many holes is not that, bro. At all. There's so, so many, many holes, holes in that. trust me yeah. bear holes. Oh, my days. <laughs> what's the country with the lowest age of consent i'll find out for you mate my uh, i'm gonna guess nigeria nah, is 11 oh uh, yeah nigeria's 11 Nigeria's I was going to say Nigeria. I was going to say Nigeria. Bro, but I was going to say 11. Okay. Japan's 13. Is that why you lot are going? <laughs> no, it's changed now, bro. It's, it's changed to 16 now, bro. <laughs> oh, that's all right then, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's that? the same in this country. Germany is 14. It's the same in this country, brother. <laughs> I wouldn't know, bro. Germany is 14. and eight, In Germany, an 18-year-old is a 14-year-old. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I filmed my IGCC in it. I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that that's just imagine that's a defense I don't imagine know that that's a defense <laughs> alright check this out though check this out though Pakistan <laughs> Pakistan got no age of consent what that's your end Wait, that's, that's your end, end. no age no, Wait, uh, be, let me just speak before I say India like president <laughs> no, I'm joking India, I'm joking. India, India is, is 18 there is, I think there is so the, I just thought I'd say that's a bit clickbait innit so for Pakistan there's no age because obviously you can't have sexuals until you're married married anyway <laughs> And married men have to be at least 18 and women have to be at least 16. So I guess it's technically 16. That's just convoluted way of saying 16. Yeah. Your country's yeah. just longing out. It's not mine. I'm English. No. <laughs> yeah. The latest episode is going to come out. It's called We Love Colonization. I've already done the title. Yeah, have you really? Yeah. <laughs> it's true to be fair. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. Okay. To be fair, this country's 16 as well. So. <laughs> we love colonization. That is wild. Oh, India's is nine. It's 18. You're hey, lying. Yo. I just looked it up. It's literally I just 18. Looked it up. <laughs> guess what? Both of them. I've cut looked... your audio out. So, <laughs> shame. No, no, Anything no, guess to what? discredit your country. Hamza, guess what? You're going to put that in the trailer, bro. Oh, 100%. Yeah, it doesn't 100%. matter. 100%. Thank you. I'm going to make a note of that, actually. Yeah, it, don't, it don't matter, bro. <laughs> Fucking straight monster. But clip, yeah. Bro. There you go. Bit of nonsense action. Bro, man, that, man, man, that Madagascar <laughs> topic. That was funny, man. Shout out to you, bro. That was no good. No worries, man. Funny. No worries, man. <laughs> It's crazy because I did no research for it when this episode started. Yeah, oh we can tell God, you did it all now. It's so trash. But bro. guess what? No, no, but guess what? You, no, no, no. You can't say that because you just said it was great. We had fun. We had fun. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, exactly but that's what I'm saying. Because we're the content, bro. Good. Not you. Bro, I'm sorry. Someone's but Someone's like, got to do it. When has nonsense ever had the tolerance, bro? That is just the funniest thing to have different age barriers. Hey, with different here's a question for you, man. Would you rather bro. be chemically or surgically? Oh, chemically? Are you kidding me? Why, why would you want it's just there off? bro I'd just say <laughs> surgical because you know what man like 
If you're going to go three, you might as well do it the whole nine yards, isn't it? Oh, repent in that. No, just get chopped, bro. This isn't confession. This isn't confession. It's not, oh, everybody, welcome. Here's the Pope. He's joining us on an episode of A Typical. So, um, well, obviously, speaking about Mandem getting deformed, we might as well carry on and talk about, I don't know if defamation is the word. It's definitely not, because that's defamation. Obviously, (laughs) I wasn't definitely not set one. Chernobyl. What's going on? What's going on over there with those man? I see some mutant wolves what and dogs over there, bro. Horrible. Horrible. Like oh, yeah, Metro, horrible. Metro style. What man? They're all deformed. Yeah. Man's got radiation up their bums. Who has played Metro? I know Harsh guys for ten minutes. I did. I have actually as well for ten minutes. <laughs> I've actually never played it. They're actually releasing a new one soon, I think, because they just dropped a VR. Yeah, on Metro. Yeah, they are very, very good mm. game series. I would recommend. Top tier mm. stuff. But yeah, Chernobyl. This is some funny shit, right? So. In 2014, this uh, scientist she went to she went to the ends right she went to the exclusion zone. She started she putting out. collars on all these all these wolves. She thought, you know what? Let's just let's start start tracking some animals, see what they're up to, because no one else can go in the exclusion zone. So ten years later, 2024, the, she's been looking at the data, seeing what's going on. Turns out these wolves that that they put collars on when they took when they put collars, they also took blood tests and stuff, right? Gone back, looked at the blood tests, all that stuff. Turns out these wolves now have genetic mutations where they're way more resilient to cancer. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Because they've been roaming around. The, they, they got the Geiger counters on lock. Yeah, <laughs> bro. None, this ain't happening to me. Yeah, <sighs> it's nuts. They've literally, they've literally mutated. And it's crazy. Yeah, it's because it hasn't even happened like through like generations of wolves. It's literally just the same wolf. Just the same wolf. Well, that's nuts. Yeah. It would happen yeah. though. Yeah. Exposure. It's mad that that happens. I mean, we don't. It, yeah. We, uh, clearly didn't happen to us. We all just died. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah to be fair, though. <laughs> <laughs> These so animals, nuts. they got something different going on. It's These the same with the different. bugs as well. The bugs have been getting mutations. Ladybirds <laughs> with like 50 million dots on their backs and stuff. Ooh. It's wild. Uh. <laughs> what do you mind thinking, Ladybirds? Trip, what's, your opinion? what's your opinion on Ladybirds? I love Ladybugs. They're so, so cute, bro. adorable, cute. They're so cute, insects, bro. That animal. Yeah, they're I don't like them, you know. I think. ones in the kingdom. Bit untrustworthy. Untrustworthy. I see. He's always nah. had his opinion on ladybirds. You know. You He's know what's untrustworthy? Ladybirds. ladybirds or ladybugs? Ladybirds. They're, just... <laughs> They're the same thing. Ladybugs or ladybirds, bro? Ladybugs or ladybirds? It's the same thing, isn't it? Nah, nah, nah. Mm. Like you got to can't misname them and that, isn't it? What is there? You got to know the pronouns, bro. <laughs> Wait, are you actually? Uh, <laughs> Tell me the difference. The same. I'm not saying there is one. I'm just saying there's two different names, isn't it? All right, so maybe they like being called both. Fair, isn't it? I'm just okay. asking it's what 2024, bro. Yeah, anyway, it's going back to the deformed uh, wolves. Yeah, that's a bit like that's a bit. Mad. What's the word? Um, <laughs> incomprehensible. <laughs> it's a bit incomprehensible. <laughs> What's the word? It's a bit incomprehensible. Yeah. Um, I tell you, should I tell you another way. wolf who's incomprehensible? Wolfie Cindy, bro. Shout out to her. <laughs> Shout out to Deli Ali, bro. Shout out to Wolfie. Deli. Where does he play now? He's out of a job. Oh, he went to Turkey. he went to Korea, didn't he? Or was that Jay Ling? No, that, that was Jay Ling. That Ling's. Was oh. That's just racist. I think he's in Turkey. I think he's in Turkey. He? He's out of a job. Now he's out of a job. He wasn't Besiktas, but he's out of a job. But remember, remember, he's out of a job, and then that's when he had his whole documentary thing, and he came out with the interview and everything, and he's been jobless since then. He's having fun, bro. I say jobless like he's struggling. The guy's a flipping yeah. old time millionaire in it, but still, he's still chilling. Yeah, game so he's, game. I think he's, oh, he's still signed to Everton, apparently. I don't know, man. Anyway, How does that Ali. work? Have you not seen that video of, of Mares when his wife's like, I don't want to move to Saudi? And he's like, <laughs> part of the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hold that. <laughs> that he's like, you get the Birkin every day, bro. Relax in it. Go home. <laughs> All right, speaking oh, of football. Man. I've got uh, an interesting quiz here. I don't remember if we did this last time. If we did, then I can shut up. But I found that this list has been going around recently of the top 10 most watched sporting events uh, of all time. All right. I want to see if you lot can guess the 10. All right. Quick question. Is this specific event or are you just saying generally like possible? A specific, specific year? A specific event. You don't have to say the year. I think that's a bit extreme. I'm not expecting you to oh, say oh, but, the year. But it has got the year in it. It's yeah. got the year in it, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Is, is, it, is it, are you going to include only one? In the top 10 for that specific sport, for example, if I say World Cup, you're going to say that's like six of the top 10? Uh, no, only once. All right. World Cup. I'm going to say 20... 
Do you think this World Cup? Nah, not this one. Alright, you start in a one. World Cup? Should we should we start at one and go down? Is that what you're saying? Just, or are you just gonna guess randomly? Yeah. Just yeah, guess. guess randomly. Right, yeah. Do you think this latest World Cup was the most? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll, yeah, you know I will back that. Yeah, twenty twenty two. World yeah. Cup 2022 World Cup that is number one on the list five wow. billion yeah. views let's go yeah all right obviously the um the semi-final India Pakistan 2010 was it World Cup I mean, cricket, this cricket World Cup isn't it yeah but I think it's specifically the cricket semi <clears throat> there's a cricket World Cup third because I think I might have seen this list uh, you may have seen this list which is fine you know it's fine <laughs> cricket, it cricket is third I watched it today. <laughs> okay. it's good. Um, I'll, I'll let the other man answer. Though. It was not 2010. It was 2019. The Cricket World Cup as a tournament as a whole got 2.6 oh. billion views. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Right. So it's a whole yeah. event, not a specific. So that's third. Cricket World Cup, third. Uh, 100 meters. Mm, it be Olympics. Uh, yeah, it won't be a specific event. It's, they do the tournament, basically. They do the tournament. Sure, Olympics. Yeah. Olympics. All right. So what are you saying? You're saying Summer Olympics, yeah? Summer yeah. Olympics, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is, that... that's number five, two billion views in 2021. The wow. Japan one, the last one. Well, that's bigger. Uh... So you've got one, I'm three, five one. so far. Yeah, go I'm, I'm going to go in a slightly different direction. I'm going to say badminton, uh, England <laughs> Open. <laughs> in... <laughs> Hey, you found out what sport, man. This on purpose, that was a sport, man. Bad no, mission, England, England Open. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a thing, bro. I'm sure it um, is. Actually, go on, give one, give one. What do you think? Wait, so just to confirm, did you say that if you're, if you're, if Masan, for example, said Olympics, you're not going to list each single Olympic thing? Like, it could no, still he, be said summer, he said Summer Olympics. Yeah, the, yeah. Su- the Summer Olympics, No, the, not the event, the tournament, the tournament. was yeah. was in the top 10. There's no single event in the Olympics that's in the top ten. Well, winter so, Olympics. Sorry, I misspoke. Sixth. I misspoke. I mean, if I, would there be another Olympics as well? <laughs> if possible, like like 2008 and then 2008. There won't nah, be. Nah, there nah, won't nah, be nah. another Summer Olympics. There might be Winter Olympics. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. All right. Um, I'm gonna winter say... Olympics. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Win- winter Olympics is seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Go on, Hoshi. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say that, but I'm fucking lagging. Oh fuck. No, you're right, bro. You're fine. Go. No, no. I was going to say that. I was going to say Winter Olympics. Oh, that's fine. Right. We have to pick another one now. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Um, okay, let me think. I'm going to say... I'll say uh, Formula One. Yeah. Fucking that's what I was going to say. Grand Prix. I don't know which one, bro. Fucking when it's Hamilton... The final. I'm at, uh, yeah, I'm going to guess the, the Verstappen. Verstappen. Oh, the, the Verstappen one, Hamilton. Right? That is a very yeah, good yeah. guess, but it is not in the top 10. Damn. Right. How, how much was Winter Olympics? How many views? Uh, Winter Olympics was 2 billion. I swear Formula 1 was third. Uh, no. I thought you said cricket uh, was third. Third was Cricket World Cup. I swear second was Women's World Cup. For football. <laughs> Don't be silly. Women's World Cup is fourth at 2 yeah, billion. Yeah, harsh, you misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm joking. Oh, Don't hurt I me. didn't even think about that. Oh, can you say European Championships? Is that, no, does Euros. that count? Uh, the Euros, Euros does count, yeah, if you want to say that. <laughs> Yeah, men's Euros then. That's not in the top 10. What about Wimbledon? I was thinking Wimbledon, but Wimbledon does not get a billion. No? Wimbledon is eight, no, ninth. Wimbledon is ninth. ninth. Really? Yeah. How much is Wimbledon? 25.6 million in 2023. Fraud list because Euros defo on this list, by the way. If if Wimbledon is 25 mil and that's, what did you say, eight, ninth? Super Bowl's got to be there then because Super Bowl goes oh, yeah. plus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl is 8th, 123 million in 2024. Fuck yeah. Yeah. hell. That's nuts, yeah. you know. Shit sports um... though. <laughs> um, where else is there? Super, I, have you not seen that video of a guy comparing the cheapest and most expensive Super Bowl tickets, is it? And like yeah. the most expensive Super Bowl tickets, like 70 grand. <sighs> to do Bro, what? Who's spending nice. the gross? I don't get it. 70 to grand. Fuck me, bro. Yeah. So my Sam's Don's and his people. Is it trap? Is it fucking people? Is it <laughs> Taylor Swift's box, bro? <laughs> <To be fair. laughs> box is fair. All right. So, so you've got you've got number 10 still to get. Um seven and I think two. Those are the only ones left. I swear two was Formula right. One, bro. No, incorrect. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> NBA, NBA, yeah, finals. NBA, obviously. NBA, yes, yeah. good one. That's number 10, 17.8 Seven million. And Seven and two. What, what okay? What was number three? How many views had number three got? Number cricket. three had 2.6 billion cricket world cup. 
what is bigger than cricket but small? Right, I'm gonna tell cup? you right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's fraudulent. It's fraudulent. Number two is fraudulent. But mm. I I can understand how it makes sense, and you will understand how it makes sense too. But none of us are gonna agree with it. Commonwealth Games. It's <laughs> a good shout. I was uh, thinking that, but that's funny. But no, it's not Commonwealth Games. Yeah. Commonwealth never gets <coughs> well, Paralympics seven, I guess, but no. oh, not Paralympics. No, the... that was a good shout. That's a great shout. Were only... That's founded down the road from us, actually. So I yeah. now. Yeah, uh, Buckinghamshire. Jeez, Somewhere. where's Dorney Lake and that one? <laughs> shout, bro. Um, so what was what was six yeah. and eight then? I'm trying to guess number seven. Six was Winter Olympics. And mm. eighth was Wimbledon. So the difference between oh, those, Wimbledon, a... 25 mil, Winter Olympics, 2 billion. <laughs> There's a big yeah, range a in big, there. I was going to say huge. Okay, more is than 25 mil. Is, do you reckon it might be another footballing event? like Champions um, League. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that's a the good shout. Champions League final. Is that what you want to guess? Yes. Yeah. Champions League final is number seven. 2023 yeah, final, 450 million. Okay, well, you've got all them apart from two then. What is number two? I'll give you one more guess and then I'll tell you what number two is. Shanti, Shanti. Hespert. Hespert. I mean, is football, Olympics related, what are this gigantic... Ten- oh, no, we did tennis. We did golf. Tennis. Oh, PGA. Nah. No way the Masters. I know it's not. Big. I know it's not too yeah. bad. I'm putting put, put the guess there in it because I'm not losing anything. So I guess might uh, as well. you miss every shot you don't take. Golf. Might, might as I mean, well. It's wrong, but sure. <laughs> Masam, do you want to... Well, I'll give you a choice. You go with golf or you can say something else. It might Golf might be right. Nah, there's think. no it should, way. It shouldn't be golf. Nah, I think he's got holding no one. Chance. I think he's right. Uh, Yo, I like that. <laughs> that was like good. That. You know what? Like we're going to go with Masters after that punch. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's wrong, 100%. Fair play to you lot. You actually smashed it. It's not number Jeez. three. No, I was uh, going to say, not, I knew not, there's no right. chance of Hey, you got Tom Daly. You got Tom Daly. You got Tom Daly. <laughs> Tom Daly. <laughs> All right, number two <laughs> is, 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 is somewhat fraudulent. Number two is three and a half billion, and it's the Tour de France. Ah. Uh, cycling. Okay. First of all, I'm telling you, cycling. There is not 30 mil man, let alone 3.5 bill that are watching Tour de France. That's a lie. It's what because it's nationally that? televised everywhere. And if you load it for one second, it counts as a view. To be fair, yeah. we take oh. those as well, to be fair. So I don't blame them. <laughs> 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 that's that's, that's, a, I, that's I pretty cool. Say, F1 is missing. The, 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 the Hamilton the Stappen finals got to be more than 20 mil. There's I think no Formula 1's been very niche for a long time. Yeah. I think it's only now coming to the main. Nah, frame. but I'm sure that Grand Prix like hit 100 mil. Maybe, Maybe. It was because total views including social media and stuff, but I'm sure yeah. that I don't, I don't know, know how many people Dhabi? watch it live. Also, you have yeah, to that's the live You have to think oh. about yeah. it, right? Like an F1 race is 2 2 hours something like that. Like it's not very long. Sure. Right? Compared to Tour de France is what like 5 right, 7 Tour days or something. actually such a fraud, you know. <laughs> Get yeah. that shit out of there, bro. Shout out Cheating um, our sport. Shout Olympics out is there, weeks. <laughs> yeah. What's the name again? Cyclist Lance Armstrong. 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 Armstrong, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, shout out Lance Armstrong, bro. Don't shout. I shout saw out, no, I saw a video Bradley, of his. Bro. I shot <laughs> Bradley Wiggins. Bro. Oh, bro, Chris Hoy uh, speaking of cycling. Yeah, actually, Chris Hoy got a uh, Chris Hoy yeah. <laughs> I'm such a kid. I get it, bro. Uh, he's, oh, yes, he's been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that took a bit of a turn. Yeah, that's wait, wait, wait. Oh, can I get a high? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're wrong, dude. You're wrong. Dude. <laughs> no, bro, I'm joking. Oh, that's our second. Okay. Oh, that's Pete, Olympian, man. Bro. He's a legend. Yeah, he, yeah, he's. I mean, he's. What did second. you say? Did you say Chris Hoy's dad? No, Chris Hoy himself. Oh, Chris Hoy himself. He diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, I think I saw, sad, literally man. saw the article. Yeah, let me today. see. What is it? For the last it's, year, uh... I think he's been going through chemotherapy. I don't know. They didn't specify what kind of cancer it is. Oh, he didn't disclose what type. That's, yeah, that is mad sad. Yeah, Very yeah. Sad. He's been don't cheat out that. Don't cheat out that cheater flipping Armstrong, bro. They're all cheaters. Nah, bro. I saw some insane stats on how much. On how much. Um, <laughs> it's true though check this out a lot of sport is check this out this is flipping nuts yeah during the final hour of a seven hour stage of the tour Lance Armstrong pedaled at an average of 400 watts and full reference track racers push over 2000 for a few seconds <laughs> so he seven was, hours he claims that he averaged 500 watts. watts for 30 minutes bro it's nuts it's to be nuts fair, 
They, I mean, there was at one point where they considered him one of the greatest athletes ever for a reason. Well, he is, because they're all on roids. The whole yeah, cycling tour was on roids. He was just a scapegoat. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that his, accompli- his accomplishments are still worthy compared to other premium athletes and other cross sports that are in it. Yeah, I'm but it depends on what sport, because they're all on roids, like Nate Diaz would say. <laughs> They're all on roids. <laughs> Messi yeah, on right. roids. I can tell you. Wait, he's on growth hormones, G. He's on count. something. Oh, he did stop that. How he does the, the growth hormones well, have nothing it. to do? No, he didn't start. <laughs> Bro, growth hormones have nothing to do with the way he dribbles Bro, the ball, though, innit? Footballers are roided to the guilt. This is literally the least tested sport in the world, bro. I they yeah, probably Neymar test more in badminton. That. Neymar is not roided. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just too lazy to roid bro there's a difference and he's yeah, still one of the best ever so wow well, Ronaldinho okay Ronaldinho yeah <laughs> <laughs> they had to get that in had to get that um, in good, good that was good Jay that was interesting yeah, Can I, yeah. I want to bring Thank up uh, how much time we got you guys uh, say we got like babe, no, listen for you all the time in the world it's only been an hour unlimited it's only been an hour. cool I just want to talk about because um, this is related to Dune because you know we're going to get Dune tickets blah 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 so when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to like big genres, right? Post post superhero genre, everyone's been like kind of gagging, like what's the next big genre, right? Yeah, Thank you for the demonstration. Yeah, I'm at because no, no, you keeping that in, bro. That was good. So like, yeah, go on. What is the next big genre of disgusting. television, right? Because if you go through like let's television say or 60, movies, sorry, movies, oh, sure, movies. Sure. If you go through like a 60 year period, right? If you just to like think roughly like during the 60s, 70s, you kind of had like the gangster era, right? Even pre that 50s era, you kind of had like the cowboy, like uh, flipping John, John Wayne. John Wayne. Wayne. John Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. His John name was just John Wayne. John it? Wayne. John it's because there's John Wayne Gacy, who's the one who, is he killer. the one who shot? Yeah. yeah. John Wayne oh, Gacy. Is the one. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah. So obviously you had this cowboy era right? and then you had the gangster era and then you during the 80s, you kind of had like kind of still kind of mob still though but then they had the mm-hmm. 80s 90s like the action hero genre right mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. The, the genre 2000s called, the, yeah mm-hmm. two th- and then 2000s JCVT. 2010s it was like superheroes what yeah. 90s hero and then yeah and then i would say late 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 2000s and yeah, basically yeah. naughty's owners have been superheroes right like what would you True. guys want to be like the next i think sci-fi or, i think sci-fi will question. be the one that is Thanks. it kind of just makes sense with everything that's going on that we've talked about yeah, sure. what do i want i just want some flipping movies that are actually good how about that for <laughs> once how about some movies with actual narrative and script how about movies that actually have some <clears throat> substance how about that to be fair you? there are loads of those every year you just don't watch them Not, need to know where to look so there's always there's always big in I need some that are big in it that's come to my face. Yeah, pause. yeah, no, I I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, I'm I specifically that. talking about the mainstream genre, right? Like, pause. you know, what, actually, I missed out. The early two thousands was probably comedy as well. We don't get any more of that slapstick comedy, that super bad kind of oh, shit yeah. we used to get, right? Rush yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. come back, right? rush hour, please. Yeah. In it, rush hour. Like so, my in my choice, I'm glad you said sci Actually, let, let let the table go around. Go on, Jay. You Jeez. Stay, the round table round rambles. Table yeah? rambles. Round table rambles. Oh, yeah. Um, what do I think the next one will be? I, I think it'll fully be like, yeah, a- alien AI robot stuff. I think sci fi to the max. You said, would you want? Jeez, really, Scott? Yeah, oh, so yeah I, I said, what I want. Would you want yeah. both? Yeah, let's do both. Um, sure, both. To be fair, I, I also want that. I want yeah. like our <laughs> other world stuff. I think it's sick. So that's what I want. I think you're out of this world, bro. Oh, thank you. Oh, she? See, you flirting bear, oh, bro. That's really sad. Uh, you took that away. It is the season, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now, G. Oh, um, what do you I'd, want, what do you want? I'd say I'd say something of the similar similar manner, like sci-fi. Like I feel like if Star Wars came came oh, pause. If Star Wars came on out Hamza's in face. this on Hamza's face, <laughs> if it came out in this period, I it's still iconic, though I'm not gonna shit on it. I still love Star Wars for what it is, but if it came out in this period and had the same sort of you know direction and stuff, it would be fucking insane. Like me and Jay literally sent each other blender yeah, videos of like sci fi shit in the future that looks insane. Like, I'd love that. I mean, question. Like Sorry, go for a uh, No, you go first. I was just going to ask first. like, obviously, they were doing the spin offs. They did the Han Solo one. They were going to do a Yoda one, but what's happened to Star Wars? Have they just put everything on pause? Nah, they're I'm still releasing series. Them. In fact, yeah. I think. Not, about, not TV shows, <clears> but I'm talking about the movies because obviously I know they do oh, movies. I think stuff. basically Han Solo stopped? flopped hardcore. Really? It was, a, yeah, it was sick. Hanzo flopped hardcore, and so what did they, they get? Let me see. Mandalorian has done really, really well. In fact, no way, Han Solo got 
four hundred mil in the box office. Yeah, didn't Mandalorian bang? Yeah, yeah, yeah Mandalorian, Mandalorian bang. bangs. Mandalorian, <clears throat> Mandalorian's doing really good, and and so they they're going hardcore with their Star Wars IP on the on the Disney TV Plus. Show, yeah. In terms of movies, <clears throat> still uh, like it's actually funny. There's a recent story about uh, Ray. Daisy yeah, Ridley. she's been coming up in. I think she got a movie coming out or something. I've been seeing her a lot lately. I don't know why, but in terms of Star Wars, yeah. she they were talking about like a Ray, like more <laughs> Ray movies, or is she going to do anything? And yeah, there seems Ray to be like pages. there seems to be like no updates of that. So I don't know what's happening with Star Wars movies. But I'm really glad you said Star Wars because yeah, yeah. it's funny. We're all going to say sci-fi. I recently started watching an anime. Lol. All right, but it, it's horror. going somewhere. <laughs> it's going somewhere cowboy bebop right cowboy bebop uh-huh. and if Sick. anybody d- doesn't know cowboy bebop is um really really epic and that's the kind of thing i want i want like space cowboy stuff and like i'm glad you talked about star wars because han solo is kind of what like i think in cowboy bebop they they don't do the hardcore sci-fi it's like a good blend between like cyberpunk stuff space cowboy stuff like mars is supposed to be the new frontier right and so it's really cool them exploring the planets but also going to the final frontier shenanigans that's that's star trek yeah i know star trek they really need to revive star trek because that was the first i I got i got into star trek before i got into star last few star trek films have banked they've been really good (sighs) Uh, maybe i just need to get back into it again is it still chris pine they turn into like fast and furious uh yeah Uh, the chris pine ones yeah 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 Fair. but i want that bro i want space cowboy stuff i agree i don't i don't necessarily want hardcore hardcore sci-fi like alien style like mm. prometheus necessarily <clears throat> but i do want ironically dune-esque kind of stuff like mm-hmm. a little bit of mythology in the space cowboy style yeah it's like a drama That's exactly what drama I want. sci-fi you s- yeah you say yeah. you don't want alien right but i know you're a big fan of dead space is it dead space yeah that's true yeah what about what about like sci-fi space horror would you ever feel that's great like that? as well honestly well i, I, I mean that is alien though isn't it, it. yeah, yeah, yeah but that's a specific thing i I'm want about, like possession like, i don't know like possession sure. in space or something if we're like talking that. about a specific thing i'd want the space cowboy more fun side right more cowboy side right more yeah. shenanigans more bounty hunting that kind of element but i do i agree with you the dead space stuff the space horror stuff is epic but mm. i wouldn't want that like horror is never going to be the primary genre of, an, of like a cinema yeah um generation in that's it. kind of funny that we all like we all like know, sci-fi right? but we like different things in sci-fi because mm. it's such a broad spectrum right yeah, like sure. the, the cowboy stuff what was that anime that came out ages ago that we had a discussion like way back when it was basically that it was like a space cowboy that would go and have adventures um it was a very popular anime at the time i forget what it's called but maybe it was called space cowboy it's not cowboy something anyway uh yeah you like love that type of stuff whereas yeah. i love way more futuristic tech side of sci-fi where you, like yeah. it's just a new world with a bunch of stuff that you've never seen about but it's just cool shit that you always draw as a kid mm. Uh, mm. that is what like me and Hoshi talk about that all the time just like because yeah. we were saying we have we were having a conversation the other day where Hoshi was saying we were born at the wrong time right because <laughs> he was saying we were like we're too young to venture into space but too old to like but been part of the space race and stuff we're like in that zone now where we're just dreaming Mm. yeah which is quite funny because i think we're in the perfect time to be dreaming about all that stuff because we know enough about science to be able to picture what all this cool tech could be and we're not at the point where people are sort of um regretting like grass is not greener on the other side because you're in space Mm. and all that type of stuff uh so it's kind of a good place to be able to think about what all these different cool worlds could be so yeah, I'm glad you said yeah. that because one of the, my most favorite things, and Hoshi knows way more about doing law than I think anyone's brought <laughs> at this point, if he still remembers. <laughs> but one of my favorite things about Dune is the fact that they had this whole AI like uh, epidemic thing and they just yeeted all the AI shit and it's all primitive. And that's why they need the spice anyway to space travel. Like I, I kind of like that primitive nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice, so because nice. it's so cool and it's so different. It's still that's futuristic. not necessarily like it's yeah, still futuristic so. it's like it's like post dystopian yeah. sci-fi like that's mm-hmm. even cooler to interpret because in Cabo bebop they got the standard traditional style which is like everything every other sci-fi they get gates through hyperspace mm. but 
that's too like a flux capacitor or something, bro. <clears throat> not yeah. too spice, bro. Not hey, too some movie, like desert movie. powder. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can't movie. lie. Yeah, I was just thinking while you guys have been talking about it. I've been when Jay said we all like different things in regards to um sci-fi and stuff. I was just thinking. I was like, do I don't? I've never really thought about it to be honest. I've just been thinking about it the last few minutes. Do I even care? About, or like, does the sci-fi elements of this is going to sound so special but do the sci-fi elements of sci-fi actually intrigue me i don't i don't know if they do you know i think it's more so like just the actual movies and maybe the sci-fi stuff is like subconsciously cool i don't know because i'm just thinking like star wars and like star trek when i think of those i just think of cool characters and good stories and stuff and just like fantasy rather than oh there's sci-fi and there's aliens and there's robots and magic and all this different stuff what about the lightsaber bro lightsaber is literally sci-fi tech bro yeah i mean lightsabers are cool lightsaber fights in star wars are trash yeah though. they're cool enough though, isn't it? Especially not, not, not well choreographed the old ones are better than the new ones, bro. The old ones were insane. When Hayden can't was doing lie his to you. I, I, different. Yeah, I can't lie to you. The new trilogy, there is not one good lightsaber battle. The only one that's good, that's only because Luke dies. It's the, the Kylo Whoa. Ren Luke one. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoiler! And, and, and it's not even good because yeah. they just shoot at him and he disappears like a ghost man, bro, when mm. they run through each other. I can't yeah. actually think of uh, the, the, the trilogy, any good fight. Bro, there's one. Oh, to be fair, the end one, Ray, the Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's. The, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. It was Pal yeah. Palpatine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't Palpatine. It was the um, the it Darth. Was it's Andy Serkis character. It's Andy Serkis. Oh, Andy yeah, Serkis. yeah, yeah. Sorry, Snoke. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Snoke, 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 Snoke. That's Snoke. it. Yeah, oh, the smoke fight. Is it Snoke? That one is pretty Snoke. Snoke. I think it was Snoke. 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 Yeah, than Andy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that was cool. To be fair. I was going to say Ray and Kylo Ren, but then midway they start lip sync. So I'm like, uh, dude. <laughs> I hate no. that. That was so lame. That was so lame. Let's shank someone in it. Well, Kylo, Kylo Defo. Yeah, bro. Kylo. Yeah, you boys <laughs> not the drill. Oh, my. Uh, it's oh, funny because his name is Driver, bro. Well, speaking, about, speaking about that then, unless there's anything else Amanda want to say about sci-fi. Please talk about June for a sec real quick. Yeah, mate, do your tea. Yeah, I, I want to... Well, the other thing I really love, and this is why I said the little bit of mythology, right, is the... I'm, I'm going to flipping completely butcher the name because it's been like years since... A couple of years since I watched it. The the Sardar car? Aren't you? The Sardar Sardar car. car. Oh, you know, my favourite fucking the, the part whole, of the film. Yeah, like the whole Sardar car element and the whole like... Um, the Brutalist. The whole Emperor element. element. Yeah. Well, the brutalist element, but I'm saying that that whole mythos, oh, like yeah, yeah. that bit, seems like fantasy. The bit when the 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 Jezreel a bit, Jezreel, Ben Jezreel, Ben Jezreel, when yeah, they call yeah, over yeah. Paul in the beginning of the movie and tell him to put his hand through the flipping the thing box. to test his, like, like yeah. all that mythos is very very cool. That so level good. of fantasy in sci-fi is the kind of like, yeah. Not, I don't. It's funny because I grew up loving Star Wars and I still like it, but like if you gave me a new property and you're like. Either, you know, Don who controls the force and you can do force ghosts and all that stuff or that element, yeah. 100% I take the Dune style. You know what it is, though, with Star Wars? I feel like it's more, we we appreciate it more when we look into the lore behind it because the movies show you one side of it. But then when you hear yeah. about fucking, when you see a reel on YouTube randomly, Darth Vader top 10 heinous acts and you see him fucking pause yeah. that's probably not the right word to use there but like <laughs> just like wiping I out mean, planets it, 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 it is, is it is yeah, yeah. it literally is yeah, yeah but yeah. i just mean like Bro. i don't know like youtube and that I, but i just mean like yeah it's, like it's in, like we don't get to see that shit we don't get to see that shit in dune we get to see and appreciate which is why it's just it's beautiful yeah like, it's amazing that's man. why you should honestly play and i recommend fallen jedi because it's funny mm. you say that because the fallen jedi oh, like, series with cal kestis yeah, yeah, which yeah. takes place between order 66 and essentially episode four right that yeah. period of when the jedis come back i 100 percent agree with you and that's a story that's not even related to the original george lucas yeah, law yeah. that basically respawned Craig. that he might be my favorite star wars character Starkiller, right it's a no, it's not Starkiller. Star Star oh, okay. No, Starkiller is Force Awakens. Oh, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, this is... The, Cal is like another... He's a pad one who escaped during Order 66 and blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Pad but, what? Jeez. Pad one. Shout out to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> yes. 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 Um, but like, anyway, yeah, right? I I agree with <laughs> you. Be... Like, my favorite elements of Star Wars are sometimes not even the necessary flipping <laughs> trilogies. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly the same. I feel like all the the good shit needs to be televised, bro. You need to bring that shit to the screen. Yeah. So then it's just some of the Star Wars think... games are really, really good though. I remember mm, playing so them back on bro. PS2 days, and there was just it was everything you wanted in you the films, new one, like, and you yeah. could control the characters. So the new yeah, one's really good. good. I started Fallen Jedi, but I need to start. There's a new one coming out. Or came out, right? There's one that recently There's came a... out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the same. That. That's the sequel to the one you were playing. But then there's yeah, another yeah. one, which is Star Wars Rebels. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, and Darth Vader in the flipping Cal Kestis games, <sighs> scary. Because the thing is, in the the problem, and I'm and I love the Darth Vader example because the thing is, you watch a movie, you know, in the end of the day, the hero is going to win. So Darth Vader has to be limited to some extent. But mm. in these like spin off ones, the other stories where Darth Vader is committing genocides. There's no restriction on him, brother. Ain't nobody stopping him. And he just does whatever the flip he wants. Mm -hmm. And and he is literally death incarnate. Like he is the Grim Reaper. And so it's always epic when uh, you see those. But that's kind of the interesting thing about the flexibility and story writing in it in general. Yeah, I love that shit. That's enough yapping about sci-fi. Good thing we don't have to worry about retention. An hour and fifteen in, I'm alright, <laughs> boys. <laughs> Let's go. It for, so you're in, you're in, bro. Yes, but nah, the, I, I do wish they'd make some good, good uh, Star Wars movies again. But I guess they're taking a break, which is good. Otherwise, it's a bit too much because it was definitely too much at one point. It was a bit like because eh, the main movies were a bit shy, but then the yeah, spin-offs, the the spin-offs were good though. Well, some of the spin-offs were good. Like Rogue One was really good. Rogue One was sick. Shout out, Ahmed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about attractiveness rating. What was this? Sound kind of interesting. <laughs> Unless it's not. <laughs> uh, it's kind of basically funny. you're a ten ten. My son's a nine six, but he needs to watch Lord of the Rings. So he'd be a ten. <laughs> and Harshu, wow. Harshu is. Oh, I'm lagging. They're all tens in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this guy's getting bio. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I put it in the comments as well, bro. Because no one else comments. Trailer. <laughs> Too bad. It's your job, bro. <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> right, yeah, attractive. So you lot, I'm sure you lot have seen, right? On TikTok, there's these dons that go around asking, oh, what do you rate this person? Just on the street, innit? What do you rate this person? They take a picture yeah, of them. Yeah. What do you rate this person? What do you, blah, normally, blah. What do you normally rate yourself or some shit like that? Yeah, yeah. What would you, yeah, what would you rate yourself? And then they take a picture of someone else. What do you rate oh, this yeah, person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Wish. So <laughs> this person, I was, I was on Reddit, right? And I found this... Um, I thought, th- what this person has done is they've taken a bunch of data from surveys on dating sites and IRL, like speed dating and stuff like that. And they charted like a bell curve for men and women of how the other gender like usually rates them out of 10, <laughs> right? Like if you just sort of a group of people, right? And you, you take the average of all the people and you average them to like how that other gender would rate you, then then mm-hmm. what is that? What is that peak? Where's that peak of the bell curve where like the average is? Okay. Right. Before you re- before you reveal, mm. what's the what's the what, what information what do they use for this? What was their source? Yes, yeah, so there was loads of dating app sources, um, like Tinder and stuff of like how oh, like right. a, a number of swipes and then there was also some like research studies that already did data from the dating apps themselves, like the dating companies themselves. And they used mm. a lot of that information as well. Um, cause some dating sites, when they do their own metrics, they do like rating systems of one to five, and then you can extrapolate that to one to 10 and stuff. Sure. Um, so there, the, the person did some sources. I haven't been through it myself. I don't know how legit this is, but we might as well just use right. it in it. It's better than nothing. So men and women, right? What, uh, I'll ask you lot first. What do you think? Um, what do you think like the, the peak of the bell curve is of how men rate yeah. women on average out of 10 the thing is this is why i wanted to know what the, the the data source is because it depends on if it's confidential or not right because if it's out if it's like out in the public and the woman is on the tiktok and they're like yeah rate this guy women tend to be more you know <laughs> nicer they're not going to just slew the guy and say he's a one out of 10 even though he might be a one out of 10 right so that's yeah. why i want to know if it's confidential you can or go not, with the it... assumption that it is confidential okay so what's the if average, yeah? Yeah, so what's the average? Um, the, the ratings are all zero, zero to 10, as you would like to rate sure, someone. Um, is it point as always just one, two, is it whole numbers? 
is it's, it's whole numbers. That, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's literally Jeez. a bell curve on whole integers. Yeah, but you know, integers and that. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll round it. We'll round it. Paid attention. I'm gonna to say the men rated the women <laughs> in one, general <laughs> a seven, and the women rated the men on a gen on general normal distribution curve a five. <laughs> Shut okay. up, man. <laughs> man did S one at that. So, so you said you said, you said women rated you said women rated men seven and men five to women. So he said, <laughs> no, he said the other <laughs> way. He said the other oh, way. Okay, yeah. so men rated women men rated seven. women seven and, and women, women rated the men lower. As a five, yeah. Sure, I w- you know what that number's I actually. Th- I, yeah, I got a theory for that. I got a theory for that, I, and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's just true because I look, look like I'm going to say the men on average. Rated the women seven. I'm just gonna have to agree with seven, bro. And then the women oh, on average, <laughs> women rated the men on average four. Okay, right, very close. Right, my seven hums are very agreeable. <laughs> yeah, very that like... middle numbers, bro. There's <laughs> <laughs> not normal oh, distribution, brother. Oh, yeah, it's how this one works. <laughs> well, I felt that. <laughs> Oh, so, can I ask a quick question? How are they? How are they calculating oh, how? Th- <laughs> how are they finding the other person attractive? <laughs> like you're saying, swipes right on Twinder uh, on Twinder. That was just <laughs> on one <Twitter>. part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Back to incest. On Twinder, I had the camera. <laughs> <laughs> swipes on Twinder. Um, <laughs> What the that was one bread. part of the one well, one part of the data was swipes. I don't know exactly how they correlated that, but a lot well, of the other it. a lot of the other data that was used was literally people rating from one to, oh. people from one to five. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, calm. I think men are hornier in general. So exactly. I'm say, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna say, women probably late, rate them lower. I'm gonna say eight and six. Men eight. Women six. Okay. Interesting. Well, you all got the trend correct, uh, which yeah. is so bait. <laughs> As men, yeah, unbelievably bait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just nicer, innit? <laughs> we'll put no, we'll put the image right. up. We'll put the image up of what the bell curves look like. The the <laughs> men rate it. Show me the, your bell curve. This is this is <laughs> mad, right? <laughs> <laughs> you lot are going to be shocked. Nice bell curve. You lot are going to be shocked God, by these God. stats. Right, yeah, Harshu's bell curves mad. Right, you don't really shocked. <laughs> the men rated the women on average. The peak of the of don't the, say nine. The peak of it was just over four. What? Whoa, exactly. <laughs> low. The bar is low. That is People low. Clapped. Wait, the women. Hold on. The women rate the men at once. Bro. Yeah, the, the women, women are looking. The women on average rated men just under two. Wow. We wow. don't stand a chance, lads. Two Four and a two. Ten. And you need no. You I need to look at this. You so need I thought look I was clapped, but I'm even worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> let me wrong. just let me just add to the state of this. Yeah, add to the state of it. We are, we are all clapped. The men peak at <laughs> the men peak at just over four, but the bell curve range literally yeah. curves from zero to ten. The women it stops at like seven. Wow. So even yeah. less than one percent, bro. Even less one than one percent. Yeah, but you know what? Even... I feel like women, yeah. Let's get started, lads. Oh, this is <clears throat> poor. I feel Costly like women. Well, yeah. this, this Costly anything. Said, we, yeah, don't mind. It's fine. This, you, you know it. what? I feel like women, yeah. Let's get into it, innit? Yeah, I like this. Alright. I feel like I feel like women would be less inclined to admit that they find a guy attractive than a guy would feel inclined to admit that a girl's attractive. I agree though. We just like, oh, she's fit, bro. A bit of pride, <laughs> a bit of shyness, the a bit of little like begging it. Yeah. I feel like it could be multiple, many reasons, but I feel like. So, what yeah. you trying to say is men are more open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> men are more accepting. I mean, they, they didn't know me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did not, not say that. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> but also, <laughs> women are 100, 100% more like, uh, they're more picky. Right, because the the male oh, yeah. pool is so much higher, right? Yeah. Okay, so women just yeah. say, "Nah, that Don's clapped. Fuck him." Even though he might be That's good looking. That's why women can can afford to be picky, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We pick what we can get, bro, and they pick. That's what I'm they choose saying. They, Say for they the have a pool. Yeah. Back. Sure. Mm-hmm. What? So harsh? Are you saying you settled? That's mad. 
<laughs> hey yo <laughs> fuck it's funny because uh obviously i, I put the link that. of I the, love you, um, the podcast of um yeah 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 the podcast <laughs> i'm just laughing because <laughs> you can't say the name <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are the podcast <laughs> 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 it's like 17 girls right now be like me, <laughs> me in the shut comments. up shut up <laughs> Shut up. Uh, By the time it's over. Is, um... <laughs> imagine we get 17 comments. <laughs> I'm going to make fake account. Can you imagine oh. if the, the one time is when we flipping make this kind of joke? We're fuming. We'll make more. We'll make more next episode, brother. Bro, we're transitioning. We're 100%. Transitioning. 100%. Are you Sorry. kidding me? Go for it, go for it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so anyway, it's funny because I saw, I, saw, I saw a pod, yeah? And it's kind of gone a bit viral and I brought it up to the chat. But I don't think there was any point in this, you know? relevant up until now it's funny enough you talk about women's choices the pod is of course the women it's a female podcast all female podcast yep. talking about that unless the guy makes fifty thousand dollars they're not worth it to baby we made it 50 I, g's I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you g's. yeah out of all the videos i've seen i've never seen a woman say something as low as 50k this is getting cut out of the pod yeah this is why I told you. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. This is why I do a read the pod. I need... Bro, hold tick, on. The tick, funny tick. thing is, yeah. The funny thing is, if you watch this 50 seconds, she says in the video, if you, if the men manage to find a bottom of the barrel woman to accept you, if you make less than 50k, dot, 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 dot. And I was like, flipping hell, bro. 50k, so, like... Mental. I mean, 50k. That's how much Jay 50k in US terms is like quite low, though. 50k yeah, in US yeah, terms yeah, is, is like what, like 20, 25k here? Um, not, not, not even convert. Jay's not even talking about conversion. He's talking about also just the fact that in the US they just get paid a lot higher for the same yeah. job with the same experience as well. Yeah, because because they they so it's already 40k for... in GBP in terms mm-hmm. of straight thingy, but yeah. they overinflate a lot it's because yeah. taxes. Cause, cause also because and... they account for health insurance in the pay. Because mm, yeah, we don't sure. get health insurance, so it is a bit. It's a bit like that, but still, that woman needs to fuck. It's like thirty, thirty-five k a year. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, that's I, I've seen yeah. videos with like five hundred, six hundred k. Oh, yeah. completely no idea of reality, right? Yeah, but they're OnlyFans models. That's why. Yeah, they earn six hundred k just by saying, <laughs> no, oh, "Here's my like pink toe." <laughs> no, but I will tell you yeah. what, it's so funny when they interview them and they're like, "Yeah." I want my boyfriend to have a yacht. <laughs> that was the they best. want yacht. They want spell it. Jeez, it's just like, Conor McGregor, bro. <laughs> spell it. How is this to compete? Spell yacht. Spell yacht. Spell no, bro. yacht. No, no, that's not the meme. That's not the meme, bro. Have you Name read five books? Name a country, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Asia. Bro, what is that kid's uh, name? What is that kid's name? I, I don't know. Like that that guy name like oh, name five books. <laughs> That's so good, bro. <laughs> what's his name again? The Bill Clinton. That's kid, so. And you know what's so funny is the girl goes, "A Song of Ice and Fire." And he goes, "Ha! That's the name of the series." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so. Could have just named all the raw dolls, man. Easy. Matan. In- Matan Evan. Matan. Matan. That's Matan it, yeah. yeah. Um, he plays the character so well, in... bro. He's young yeah, as yeah, shit yeah. as always. Well. Hilarious. Mm. Yeah, he's young. But um, yeah, regarding back to the attractiveness scale, it's just funny because I knew as soon as confidentiality, you're right. I'm just right. I I do think women are less just uh, open about what they like because they're probably in denial. Probably they're just dumb. Myself before they're just dumb. Yeah, they're, they're literally really just dumb. dumb. They're not in touch. They're out of touch in reality. Anyone who says that doesn't matter who you are, man, woman, whatever. But they do just bro. Touch That's reality. average. That's average. What? I'm telling you right now, the I average meal you walk down the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Dude. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about the 50k. <laughs> 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 but like the average male, if you deep that, what they're saying is when you walk down the street, they're rating the average male a two, bro. That's just not true. That's just yeah, categorically yeah, wrong. Yeah. That's literally wrong. Oh, That's what would you look? Wrong. What what type of features? Would a would a dude who is a two have to have like what do they look like? Fucking, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can say the thing from bro. the Goonies, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't know if we can say the, the thing from the Goonies. You know what? A better example. Name a celeb mod. who's a two. Name a celeb who's a two. Oh man, did you name a celeb that's a two? They're not because that's why they're a celeb. Nah, I'm gonna look up ugly <laughs> celebs, and I guarantee they're only. There's no else. celebs that are two. Nah, I yeah. know one. I know one. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I ain't gonna say Slate cancelable. It's mad. Yeah, I can't do it. Season boils. Season boils. Season boils. Oh, nah, leave yeah. Susie alone, isn't it? Yeah, but she two. She's a two, though, isn't it? Sure, sure. Steve Buscemi, bro. Steve oh, Buscemi. Wait, Jay, Steve. Exactly. I'm sorry, Jay, what did you just exactly. say? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, mute that, bro. Yeah, mute that. I thought <laughs> I heard a little sign saying it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up my life. Difficult. Long. Creature, bro. Actually, wait, I'll say something else I said. Three, two, one. I tell you what, though, someone who's a two, Taylor Swift, bro. Clip that, get the Swifties, get the views. No such thing as bad publicity. That a little rough. But they'll actually dox us, bro. Do you not know yeah, they dox? Okay. They, they dox cancel stones. shit, bro. It's fine. They we won't dox into a clip. Yeah, and, then, and then they'll send us loads of racist <laughs> shit about us being brown or something. Which uh, please do. Easy content. Please Honestly, do. I'll take. I'll take it. I'll take racism. Give me comments. Give me just racismalize me, bro. Racism. You know yeah. what? We can counter the Swifties. It's fine. It's fine. Barcelona <laughs> did it with Bold. Hoshi, would you say? Hoshi, would you say? Um, Hodor is a two. Nah, he's not a two. Hodor's not a two, bro. How do you spell this dude? Hodor. Frozen. H O D O R. Uh, H O D O R. Yeah, and just he's not a two. Got... He looks friendly. Yeah, he's what a would you BFG. He's from Northern Ireland. What would I rate him? <clears throat> yeah, a four. A four. Yeah, that I I agree. That's what I'm saying. I think he's a handsome <laughs> guy. Just needs to lose a bit no, of weight. No, he's not. I don't think so. But um, the point is, those those <laughs> that ranking is outrageous, and the men were also saying the average woman is a four. Yeah, that's a bit. So I harsh. think I think they probably just like freaking surveyed a bunch of like California dons, bro. Honestly, yeah, you know that what? They probably like surveyed them. That may be correct. You no, know, they probably <laughs> surveyed a bunch <laughs> of like <laughs> Swedish <laughs> dons, bro. <laughs> Stockholm dons. Stockholm. Yeah. <laughs> they surveyed the, the people. The surveyed the only the people that have the, the Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Two out of ten. I'm actually so angry. Hard. Two out of ten. Yeah. These are dons that oh my days. They got like Romesh lazy eyes and that. Hey, yo, Honestly, don't Ramesh, um, bro. actually, would you put Romesh Rang and Ethan? Shout out. That's that's a nice for Sri Lankan. Uh would you would you put him at, <laughs> what would you put him at a ten? Uh, he's he's lost weight. He actually looks good now, apart from the I lazy eye. Too. He actually he has looks lost good. a lot of weight. Let's just I'd let's just ignore four. the eye, yeah. I'd say he's honestly with the ignore new look. Ignore half his face. In... <laughs> Brother said ignore half I his said, face. Honestly, bro. I think he's like a six. I think mean, he's actually good looking since he's lost weight. I think I think he's good looking because of the eye. Oh yeah, okay. Well listen, <laughs> fair you don't there. believe what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, isn't it, Even he wouldn't believe that. Romesh. Okay. I don't think I don't I think Romesh is uglier than the Romesh average man. On what on does he look like? Hey bro, come on, man. We need him. Massive, you're needed. the reason it's a four and a two, bro. Romesh no, is good looking. I, I love I love he's a flipping Arsenal fan, bro. He flipping rinses yes. them on League of Their Own. But I'm just nah, being I think just, that's I think that's too peak on him. I think he's I think he's a five. He's actually a good looking. I think he's a six. He's average, bro. He's average. Really? He's average. You Ever take since the, you lost weight, he's average. Bro, take the lazy eye. Take the lazy eye away. And he's like That's half their face, brother. Yeah, but the rest of him is good looking. Like the you got the whole body okay, in let one. Let me see bro. his weight loss. Let me see his weight loss because that does add points. Bro, but, we uh, don't. We do not want to do this because if this, it won't. But if it somehow gets to him, you do realize he's a comedian that will fuck our entire lives. Like, it's light work. Bro. Romesh, come it's on the pod. Work. Yeah, Romesh, come on the pod, G. Bro, Romesh, come on the pod. Rinse because the rest of us bro, are yeah. eating you. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want that smoke, bro. I don't do that. I don't want that <laughs> I smoke. Do that. I ain't got no. <laughs> he's busy chatting with Lewis Hamilton. He can come on our pod. Please do. Please do. Yeah, he's like. Romesh is not ugly. That's just incorrect. Yeah, Masam, you need to lower your standards, bro. Lower your standards. Okay, That's probably not the right word. No, oh, my it's standards. too late now. <laughs> Maybe a couple years back when he had like added weight and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely. What you saying? Weight's bad. <sighs> yeah. Well, Honestly, if you're overweight, yeah. If you're overweight, yeah. If it's a weight's health issue. Bad. Yeah, exactly. It was st- was, was medically he, bad. Was isn't he that bad? He was quite. Fat he, he, was, he was. He pretty was big. Quite, yeah, he was pretty big. Yeah, he, he talked. He okay. talked talk about it a lot in his stand up, saying like he's very, very out of shape. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I didn't That's actually fine. know that. I was just trying to get you. You man, give hole. me another six in it, just so I got like a. No. Just got an idea. Another six. You're skewing rummish. Like a celeb six. six. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's different. Celeb six and normal six are two different things. That is true. You know okay, what? He's a, you know what? He could be a six. And now I'm just thinking comedians now, innit? We're just rating more men, by the way. Oh this yeah, is... with the sexiest man, Ubi Fufu. Yeah, exactly. Um, Go watch that. When it's, it's not out, out yet. <clears throat> when it's, it's not out yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I don't know, man. Just, I'm just thinking of comedians, but they're not really celebs, though, innit? They are. What? Rob of course Beckett. they are. 
Yeah, I was thinking, oh, ah, thinking of Rob Beckett. Was Rob Beckett, the one with Rumish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dumb, Bro, dumb. I was genuinely trying to remember his name. Okay, what do you put? What do you? Bro, he is ninety percent teeth. teeth. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. Bro. Oh god! Wait, you're insulting the comedian as well. Bro. We're insulting yeah, every UK comedian now. We're gonna jump up on stage and it's gonna be an atypical comedy roast. Hold on, on a second. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be there. I will not be able to. Fine, me come. and Jay will find me. They pussies. Yeah, do you think I am, bro. This do guy doesn't think? want to make fun do of comedians, but he goes all in on the nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's watching you, bro. Jimmy's watching you. <laughs> what would you say Rob Beckett is then? Rob Rob Beckett is closing like statement. A closing statement, Rob Beckett, would I, would I not? Depends how I'm feeling on that day, innit? Yeah. Oh, was that another question? <laughs> oh, shit, my man. Is he more or less attractive than Ramesh? I think he's about the same. I knew you can say that, uh, but I said more, more or less, brother. Not are they equal. Well, that's why. Honestly, I'd give him. Honestly, I'd give him a, a six. I give him both sixes. I say he's more attractive than Ramesh, and you're gonna, you yeah, might understand. No, you I just really don't like brown. That's because you don't like you like that South Indian Sri Lanka. <laughs> yeah, people. yeah, you don't like South Indian. Jay's agree with me. Jay's agree with me. Look at his face. I love Sri Lankans. Ignore, ignore Ramesh's lazy eye. Yeah. Then I'm gonna say ignore his teeth. Or, I'm gonna say ignore his veneers. Bro. It's, it's impossible to ignore his teeth. <laughs> I can't. I can't ignore half his flipping face. Yeah, oh, what's I his mean, name? Rob, Rob Beckett's got. He's got white man tax in it. You know what? You nah, know what? If we're saying who's like a thank you. If we're That's saying who's like a six, yeah, six seven. Maybe like Russell. Howard. I'd say Rob is a Russell Howard's probably like a seven. Russell Howard is not attractive. <laughs> All right, so basically, <laughs> end of the story is <laughs> none of us are going to agree <laughs> on any of this. We all. I tell you one thing: we all will agree on Henry Cavill's a ten. Mm. Link I F M. Yeah, don't don't spoil Jay. the video. Yeah, don't spoil the video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's but consensus, bro. Come on, I love my boy. Listen, there we go. If you like us rating men, we have got more in store for you. Sexiest man, Uwu Fufu, will be coming soon. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed that episode. I think it was a bit of a funny one. I think it was a bit of a one of them ones, isn't it? He's Anyways, if you've got podcast in the description. He's running, yeah, he's <laughs> <running up adjective. laughs> At the atypical podcast in the description, subscribe, like, turn on the bell, notification, all of that stuff. Follow us on every single platform. Otherwise, run down to your mum's yard. I forgot how the lyrics went. Whoa, safe. I'm not involved in that one. Neither am I. So, shall I see? Safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay.